Welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Gigi's Gluten Free Lab. Here we provide you with great product reviews, restaurant reviews, and recipes. And today we're going way back. Yeah, we are going to have some beef neck bones. That's right, guys. Beef neck bones. I'm going to show you how I season them. I'm going to cook them slow, down really low, and show you the finished product. And yes, it will be gluten-free. And yes, it will have a little gravy. So sit back, relax, and watch me cook. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chop some onion. This, just is, this is a regular yellow onion. I like lots of onions. Some people don't like the taste of onions. Some people don't like the texture of onion, but I like a lot of onion. I'm sorry. That's just me. That's me in a nutshell. I like a lot of onion. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's any. Cook with me. Gigi's gluten free. Cook with me, Gigi's Gluten Free. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, we provide you with product reviews, restaurant reviews, and recipes. And today we're going way back. That's right, guys. We are making beef neck bones. That's right. We are making beef neck bones and just watch me i'll show you exactly how i do it and then i'm going to also make a little gluten-free gravy to go on top sit back relax and watch me cook so we just chopping onions i like a lot of onions and i've told you in the past that i like my food heavy with heavy spices not a lot of salt, but I like spices, herbs, and vegetables. So, yep, I'm about to put some more onion in it, guys. And this might not be your thing. Onions may not be your thing. You may like something else as a vegetable, but I like onions. I love onions. I am an onion girl. And then we are going to go with our green peppers green peppers, that's right, that's right guys, some people don't like the texture of peppers or onions, so when you do that, you can add it when you have somebody like that that you're entertaining, just put it in the food processor and it'll chop it up. But I kind of want mine to stay kind of big. I just want it that way. That's my choice. It may not be your choice. But we got our green peppers. We got our onions. The prep time for this is very short, guys. And if you have a slow cooker or an instant pot, you can use that. I just don't, I want to cook mine the old fashioned way today. The old fashioned way. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we got to. So, okay. And then we're going to be using coarse sea salt. Hold on. Yeah. Coarse sea salt. You don't have to use much of it because it's big, it's big. You see the granules? They're big. So you can actually put it in your hand to, to be assured that you don't use too much. And something that I use so that I don't have to use so much salt is I use dill weed. Dill weed. It helps with flavoring your food. And you don't have to use a whole lot of salt. So, you'll see me use dill weed a whole lot on the channel. It is a great alternative to salt. And it's pretty. 
It's real pretty. I kid you not. Then, guys, I like to use white pepper sometimes instead of black pepper. So I have my black pepper. And all of these spices are gluten-free. That's why everything that you're going to see me using on this channel is gluten-free. That's right. So we got the white pepper. White pepper just has a nice, robust flavor that I love. White pepper. Then I have roasted granulated garlic. You can be liberal with your garlic because that flavor from the garlic is gonna set those neck bones all the way off. That's right. And then, this is my secret weapon. When I want great flavor, tender, succulent meat, I always use my Bragg's apple cider vinegar. That's right. Secret weapon, guys. I'm going to use three caps. One, two, three. That's right. And we're going to let them boil real slow, and we're going to come back and make the gravy. Guys, you will not be disappointed. Okay, guys, as you can see, these neck bones have cooked down. However, I'm going to use the roux from the neck bones to make the gravy. It's pretty much made. I just want to make it thicker. So I'm just going to pour some of it in the cup. Then I'm going to add some coconut aminos to it to give it a little bit uh, brownish uh, color, more brown color. And then I'm going to use King Arthur's, my favorite, all-purpose flour to thicken it. Okay, stir it all up. We might use one more teaspoon of flour, which we probably don't really need to. I think I'll use a half a teaspoon. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon, okay? Yeah. Half a teaspoon. See that? That's the half. And typically I would use the uh, blender, but I really need to just add it back. And sometimes you'll get a few little balls. That's why I say use the blender. Uh, to blend it really quick and, it, and it'll cut down on those little balls that you get. Because gluten-free flour will get clumpy if you, uh, you add too much liquid to it. Typically, all gluten-free recipes use very little liquid. Very little liquid. Remember that. But they come out good. They look really dry when you're prepping it. And then as you lay it out, you're, you're thinking, I need to add more liquid. I need to add more liquid. But you don't. Trust me, you don't. But guys, these neck bones smell so delicious. I cannot wait. I haven't had this in years. I've heard my girl, Sam's girl, talking about those smoked neck bones. She keeps talking about those neck bones. And so I said, I have got to make me some neck bones. So shout out to Sam's World. Sam's World, you, you made me want some neck bones, girl. That's right. So that's the inspiration for this video. But I wanted mine with gravy. Don't ask me why, but I wanted it with gravy. I haven't decided what I'm going to put with them yet. However, 
All we need is about five more minutes and we will have our smoke neck bones, guys. That's right, guys. I want something southern, down home, and good. And that's what we got in these neck bones. Hey, as I said, cook with me. GG. Okay, guys, we are back and we are about to look at the finished product on our beef neck bones. Guys, they're so tender and so good. Oh, I have got to bring them closer so that you can see how beautiful they are. You see that? You see how beautiful they are? See all the herbs and spices? all tangled into one. Guys, I can't tell you this though. Be really careful if you using white pepper for the first time because it may seem like you're not putting enough in it. However, you can actually put too much in it and it'll turn out to be too spicy. If you haven't already thumbs up this video, guys, please do so. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Share me out. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your coworker. You might be a partner of someone with a gluten intolerance or you may be a parent. Follow me. I promise you, you'll find something that you like in my catalog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If no one has told you today, you are beautiful inside and out. God loves you and so do I. Come back in. Cook with me. GG gluten free.